Hey y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. I'm at the boardwalk at Mason Mill Park and I have an insect to show you. There it is. It's the tiger bee fly. Let me get a little close in. Oh, just flew away. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's right here now. Let me get close in and tell you a little bit about it. As we get closer to this tiger bee fly, you might say, oh no, Ranger Jonah, that fly bit me the other day. But in fact, this fly is a pollinator. It flies from flower to flower drinking nectar. And its wings, I think, look really beautiful, almost like stained glass. There's another one over here. And uh, looking at this one, I can then tell you the really crazy, gruesome thing they do. All right, so the females lay their eggs in the cavity made by a carpenter bee. And when their eggs hatch, their larvae immediately beeline for the carpenter bee's larvae, attach themselves to the carpenter bee larvae, and then suck all of the nutrients out of the carpenter bee, leaving a dry husk. Ooh, gruesome, huh? And yet beautiful. Okay. Is the tiger bee fly now your favorite insect? Well, even if it's not your favorite, you may want to entice them to come to your house, especially if you have problems with carpenter bees uh, drilling holes into your home. <laughs> so how do you attract them? Well, they are pollinators, as I mentioned before, and so you can plant flowers. Ooh. Anything from a beautiful native like this elderberry or one that they particularly love, which is echinacea or coneflower. I hope that you enjoyed learning about this uh, strangely named but very helpful insect. This is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. See you next time.